Um, you mentioned a lot of very difficult things that uh, happened uh, under, uh, under his uh, tenure during his time as Bishop of Wheeling, Charleston. Um, those are difficult things, and those things, unfortunately, will be a part of his legacy. I, I, I would like to make a distinction, though, between the things that pertain to his own personal comportment and style as a bishop, um, which uh, pertain to him personally, as opposed to the things that uh, the bishop faced in trying to administer the diocese. Uh, and so with regard to his own person, um, the things that are um, roiling us all now are indeed the overspending, uh, his own personal behavior, um, the lack of uh, controls, um, and those kinds of things are very troubling to people. And um, those are things we hope uh, the new bishop uh, will, will address. Um, but there's other things that every bishop has to worry about, and one of them is sustaining Catholic schools when the, um, when the uh, enrollment goes down. I think um, if administering uh, a hospital in this day and age is a very challenging business for anyone, uh, while there is a lawsuit underway, I might mention that we have new management at the hospital. Sure. I might also mention that it's a really great hospital. And, um, and, and it didn't get that way accidentally. It's, it's, it's really a good hospital because there's been a lot of care and attention to it, and it's a major employer uh, in, in Wheeling. So the bishop, like every bishop, he had to face some challenges. Like every bishop, he did some very good things in the diocese. But unfortunately, I think the things that showed energy and vision uh, have been, in some sense, really undermined uh, by issues of personal behavior, uh, um, and, and that's most regrettable.